Well, this is the closest one to me.
I'm looking at this guitar that's sitting right here. I was getting ready to do the bar and no bar. So anyways, I'm getting that Randy tone, if you can tell, using the chorus, the stereo chorus. That's the secret to that sound. You need a boost to give it a little more and you need that chorus. You don't need the black label. You just need the MXR stereo chorus. That's it. It's got one, two, three, four, five little knobs. You can adjust it, and I'll give you the settings if you'd like, if you have one. And there's also settings, Randy settings for the carbon copy that uh, Zach actually figured out, and they work pretty good. <laughs> Someone wanted me to talk. I'm going to run out of time. So the only thing I know is Eddie Van Halen is going through cancer treatment. That sucks. Big time. But it is true. Uh, you know, it's a long story, but my mom... <laughs> I took my mom to see Tom Jones at the House of Blues. Uh, Eddie Van Halen was standing next to her, and they... You know, I introduced myself and told him a short history of how we used to go down and watch him rehearse in Burbank, da da da. He remembered and uh, remembered rehearsing there. I go, and we were always in this big black station wagon. It was me and my mom and my sister, but I usually be standing out there. And one time I remember I startled Dave when he walked out, but then he just, you know, walked around the corner and then you guys came out and barked up, you know, lit your cigarettes and just sat there. And I just, I didn't know what to say because I was like 13, 
12 or 13, so I'm like, all of this happened around the same time, you know, Van Halen, and then Randy come getting big, and then Motley Crue, and thankfully, Motley Crue happened in 81 when I was 16, because before that, all this stuff, I had to get people to take me down, but when you were 16, you know, you could get around a lot more. So anyways, I told him about that, and then I introduced him to my mom, and it immediately they clicked, because my mom is half, you know, Danish and Cherokee. So, kind of reminds him of his mom, and he calls her mom. And this was way back, you know, 2004 or five. And, you know, they talked, and, you know, he's like, what's your name? And she told him, you know, Sue Jet Skews. He's like, Jet? Like, how? Like, J-E-T? Or he's like, no, J-E-T-T, -T, like, Joan Jet. And he's like, no way, that's so free. Just him and my mom clicked. He kissed her on the cheek. And she's like, oh, that's so nice. Dean Martin kissed me on this cheek, and now you kissed me on that cheek. And he's like, I just kissed the same face as Dino. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. So he goes, you guys, you will be on the every, you know, guest list when we play this in the area for the next whenever we tour. So I don't remember. what We started taking that up, you know, at the last tour just to see. And there it was, Sujet Skews Plus One. So we went to the last show, me and my mom together. So, they, her, my mom and him and his wife, uh, Janie, I think it is, Van Halen, they're talking. They're blah, 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 and so they talk. And so I've known for a while that he's been going through stuff, but they thought they were going to lick it and go on tour. They were fully ready to go out on, so... Everybody going like, oh, David Lee Ross blowing up by going to Vegas. Dude, he was ramped up and ready to go. Now he's got nothing to do. He's all dressed up and no party to go to. So he books a residency in Vegas. Why not? And Michael Anthony, he'll just, you know, drink tequila and play with Sammy. And uh, Alex will 